So it is officially opening day in the NBA and the Minnesota Timberwolves will be starting off their season taking on the Memphis Grizzlies at Memphis. This game is very hyped, KG's making his return, Wiggins is making his debut, and there's a lot of stuff going on. So before we get into this video, if you guys don't know the format of this series, pretty much we are taking three NBA teams and we will be tracking their progress over the course of the NBA season. Now since it is opening day, we are going to give each three of the teams, the Timberwolves, the Lakers, and the Cavs, their own episode just to dedicate it to opening day and their first game of the season because that is a pretty big deal. So if we can also hit 50 likes on this video, I will bring you guys episode number 5 very soon, probably later this week. So getting into the episode, taking a look at the Minnesota Timberwolves roster. Uh, they're looking pretty good right now, but the odd one out, the odd player out I should say, is Ryan Kelly. Ryan Kelly being a 23 year old power forward, young player has a lot of potential, but doesn't fit this team with, as a power forward considering the Timberwolves are a power forward heavy team. Now testing him out, putting him out on the trade block, none of these trades really look too intriguing. And with 15 players on this team, the Minnesota Timberwolves need to get rid of a player. So they're looking to trade Ryan Kelly for a draft pick, but at the end of the day, they ended up just releasing Ryan Kelly into free agency. Now they, right after they did that, they decided to, to pick up the young power forward in Thomas Robinson, standing at a tall 6 foot 10 out of Kansas. He's going to be a perfect fit for this team. Now, right before we get into tip off, I got a quick question for you guys. Who do you think is going to win MVP this season? Honestly, I think it's going to come down to James Harden, Steph Curry, Anthony Davis, and maybe Russell Westbrook. Let me know in the comment section down below, but let's get right into the tip off. Alright, alright, the ball game is officially underway. Starting things off, Andrew Wiggins ends up getting rejected by Tony Allen right there, leading to a Memphis Grizzlies fast break with Marcus Gasol, slamming the ball down. Not the best way to start a season, and once again, Wiggins missing another shot. And here with four minutes in the first quarter, Wiggins finally making his first official NBA basket, starting off the game one for four, shooting from the field. Now, Kevin Martin finds an open shot right there in the corner, getting it to go, making it a two-point game early in the first. Now, later on in the first quarter, Timberwolves struggling, down by four points. Ricky Rubio is even being balled up by Mike Conley. Mike Conley, with eight seconds left on the shot clock, is able to go all the way down the lane over Kevin Garnett, making the layup. So with 10 seconds left in the first quarter, Tony Allen is going right at his former teammate, Kevin Garnett, scoring the layup, putting the Memphis Grizzlies up 10 in a perfect situation right now to go ahead and win this game early in the game it's kind of hard to tell who's gonna win but right now the front runners are definitely the memphis grizzlies up 16-6 to end the first so quarter checking into the game right now is seth curry making his timberwolves debut and honestly the timberwolves are expecting big things out of him and right here in his first possession with the timberwolves he is able to put up the three doing what his brother does best and he knocks it down that is huge right there. If Seth Curry can come out here and be that consistent shooter that the Timberwolves need, the Timberwolves are set. As you see Kevin Garnett making his first points in his return with the T-Wolves. So, uh, as we have a quick break in the action, I just want to tell you guys that this series is going to be, I mean, I'm trying to make this the most creative my DM series on YouTube. My DM is one of those things where it's very hard to become creative. So I'm trying to become more creative by doing a, a tri-team IGM. And I feel like it's a great idea because these are three teams I've always wanted to do a MyGM with. Now I'm putting them all together into one big MyGM. It's going to be amazing. Once we get into some of the deeper episodes where all three teams will be highlighted into one like 10 minute long episode. That's when the series is really going to flourish. And I just need your guys' support. Smash that like button if you are enjoying this video so far. But coming to the end of the second quarter, Timberwolves down six in this one. As the Courtney Lee missing the buzzer beater shot right there. But down six in this game, it's not looking too good for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now with Zach Levine's trade to the Los Angeles Lakers, the Timberwolves really lose some of their bounce. I mean, yes, you still have Andrew Wiggins, but you really don't have another player who you can lob the ball up to and Andrew Wiggins right here is able to find Thomas Robinson making his second points as a Timberwolf. But speaking of bounce, 
Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins is an absolute animal here on the court and once again going for the dunk! So what is the future of the Minnesota Timberwolves team? Well, I can say it in two words. Andrew Wiggins, as you see him going up, flying up high, soaring through the air, grabbing another lob. From a fellow teammate, Kevin Martin on the play right there. So here in the fourth quarter, Beno Udre going all the way coast to coast. Making the layup, extending it to three points. Now, Timberwolves were trailing all game. But right here, with Shabazz Muhammad's help, they have been able to repel themselves back into the game. Now, down six right here later in the fourth quarter with only a minute remaining. Thomas Robinson has just been playing out of his mind tonight. He's been playing huge huge for the Minnesota Timberwolves scoring I believe 8 to 10 points in his debut but right there Andrew Wiggins misses a crucial shot which will give the Timber the Grizzlies a chance to extend the lead even more which they don't end up doing on the play right there but here it is we need to get a shot up we need to make a shot Thomas Robinson coming in clutch knocking down the shot so it's a three-point game now check out this series of events Seth Curry grabs the ball, pulls up for the three. It wasn't even open and he gets it to go, shortening the lead down to five. This is Seth Curry madness right here. As you see him, he gets a foul. Okay. Udry goes to the free throw line. Huge for two free throws. Then Seth Curry goes back to that left wing and shoots another three, getting it to go, making it only a four point game. This game's not over. Well, actually, yeah, it is. Conley would end up going to the line, sealing the deal at the free throw line. And it's another case of too little, too late for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Seth Curry will put up another desperation shot to no avail, missing it on the shot right there. But in the first game of the Tri-Team IGM, the first team, the Minnesota Timberwolves, would end up losing their season opener against the Memphis Grizzlies. Definitely a heartbreaker, but hey, it's one game out of an 82-game season. Checking out the stats right here. Andrew Wiggins and Seth Curry led all scorers for the Timberwolves, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did. If we can hit 50 likes, I will try my hardest to bring you guys episode number 5 very soon.